Okay, we're going to be tying the FOD, or Fly of Destiny, developed by Conal O'Grady down in uh, Pueblo. What we have in the vise is a size 18 Scud or Nymph hook. And we'll be using a Ultra Thread 70 out. So we'll start about mid hook shank. Bring it down to about the bend. Take that off. We'll tie in some small or ultra small copper wire for our ribbing. And we're going to bring this all the way down to about midway on the bend. We'll select some pheasant tail fibers. Maybe. Five to seven works for this size fly anyway. We'll do a loose wrap just to get them into place and then we'll sure it up once we have it on the top and we have our tail about the size we want we'll just wrap that up keep going to about the bend I'm sorry not the bend uh, about mid midway on the hook shank you can give it a little bit of a taper if you want not that important either way a couple wraps behind to stand that up and then we'll take our copper wire and attempt to wrap it up in some uniformed fashion. At this point I usually put a wrap in front in front of the uh, pheasant tail fibers just to make it easier to grasp that once I have it I'll just go ahead and helicopter it off okay at this point we'll put on our thorax which I'm going to use a uh, ice dub peacock for this but uh, black calabatus and uh, uh, shrimp color actually works well So we're just going to put on a, as tight as we can for our dubbing noodle. Especially with this stuff, it's actually kind of a pain to work with. It keeps wanting to come undone. And then just wrap a nice tight or tightish ball. Bring our thread to the eye of the hook. Wrap our wing casing over using the same pheasant tail fibers. Once we have that secure, I'll cut the ends of my pheasant tail fibers off so that I can more easily uh, separate them out for the legs. We'll do three on one side and four on the other and these crafty trout are going to think this is a, a crippled betas and just eat it right up. <laughs> Alright. Here we're just going to whip finish this. Three to five whip finishes usually is plenty. And then we're going to trim our legs off right about the back of the uh, thorax on this fly. And there you go, we'll get rid of this errant little guy. And that is the, or a version of the FOD fly. Thanks for watching.